In this video, we'll be retapping this cast resin transformer to reduce the secondary voltage. But first, we need to release the transformer from the system. We're going to combine the site onto a single 33 kV feeder and take out one of the 33 kV legs. We want to release this distribution transformer, retap it to reduce the secondary voltage. On the secondary side, we have two incoming circuit breakers, 5,000 amps and a bus coupler on the main board. The voltage at the moment on the B side is over 250 volts and we want to reduce this. We prepared the site switching schedule and now it's time to execute the switching. Firstly, we want to take out the 3.3 kV feeder on the steam turbine circuit and close the bus coupler and run it off a single circuit. Oh, Martin, it's Kev. We just uh, want the ST leg switch now. From the 3.3. Yeah, okay, ready? Right. Okay, ready? Yeah, okay, ready? So tell him we're switching. Yeah. Oh, Martin, we're switching it. Yeah, okay, ready? Right. Half the site now has gone black. We're going to combine it onto the GT feeder and re-energize the board fully on 3.3 kV single feeder. Let's put the room lights back on and then proceed to the main 400 volt switchboard after we've completed the switching log. This will give us another site outage across half the site. We open the incomer from the transformer that we want to retap, and we close the bus coupler and we're running off with one main auxiliary transformer. Power across the site has now been re-established and we can now move on to de-energizing the transformer we wish to retap. Firstly, at the switchboard, we de-energize HV supply 3.3 kV to the cast resin transformer. If you look through this window, you can see the breaker opening. So with the circuit open, we now go back to the LV side of the board and rack out the 5000 amp air circuit breaker and lock it off. Just to ensure we don't get any back feed from any part of the system, back energize the transformer. Now back to the 3.3 NX Air circuit breaker. We now rack it out of position. You can see through the window the breaker approaching the front of the door. With the disconnection now on the primary and secondary side bindings having a mechanical disconnection, we can apply the circuit earth to the high voltage side. If you're working on high voltage, you have to ensure the system is fully earthed. Once all the locks are in place, we can open the interlock door and remove the interlock key that is only released when the circuit earth is applied. This key is used on the door of the transformer room. You need a combination of the key from the switch gear and the SAP electronic token to allow us access to this room. This is the first site of the cast resin transformer to be retapped. On the right hand side, you've got the LV connections through the bus duct. Left hand side, you've got the two cables, high voltage, coming in to the core of the HV winding. This is the point at which we'll be retapping. But before we can start, we have to test that the system is dead. So with our line live tester, we check that it works first, and then we check each of the connections coming in on the transformer. We've already done the one nearest us, and now we're just checking the rest of the connections. Following this, we will retest the tester to make sure it's still operational. 
This is the windings for the transformer. Well, at the moment, it's on position three. And because we run with a high voltage on the 3.3 kV side, which normally runs about 3.4 kV, we have to change the tapping to position two. First, we take a record of the existing tap positions on each of the three cores. In total, there are nine connections to remake on this arrangement. The primary side of this transformer is connected in Delta. So we just check with our method statement. We've clarified section four that the position of the windings at the moment is set for three and we need to set it for position two. So one by one, we remove the existing links on the winding cores and move them to the new positions. Once complete, we set the torque wrench up for the correct settings. We check with the manufacturer's data for the transformer to ensure we don't over tighten them. Um, these ones have a very low torque value, about 36 Newton meters for these bolts. Then we take a record again of each of the taps to show the changes that have been made. Okay, final check of the transformer room to make sure there's been nothing left in there. And we re-secure the door and release the key so we can insert it back into the HV switch gear. With the key inserted, we can now remove the circuit hook and then onto the LV board to rack in the incomer air circuit breaker. We can't close the HV supply until the air circuit breaker is in the racked in service position. Finally, we rack in 3.3 kV switch gear. So earth is off. Yeah, locks are on. Things open. Oh, do you want to energize it up? Neon indicators indicate that each of the phases has been re-energized. Uh, and we just check the voltages on the LV side of the board oh, to make sure they're balanced between the two transformers. Okay, okay, okay. And that should match. Pretty much.